Hello humans, Artist with the Fro here, and welcome back to the show. In our last uh, sealed only episode, we kind of had a little bit of a blunder where we bought one of these and it was already opened. However, as you can see, this tin, this gold sark tin here, has all of the Konami seals on it. So this is actually an officially closed box. So let's just open it up. I think for the, um, for the rest of the videos, we're probably gonna do this type of format and just try to see if we can push forward as most uh, tournaments and most things are kind of closed. So I'll do a little bit of an opening here. I'll show you guys what the deck looks like and then we'll jump into the online duels and we can move forward with that. Um, that's kind of gonna ha that's kind of going to have to be how it's going to have to work until the uh, the tribe infecting virus kind of like rolls over. So without further ado, let's jump into this and see what cards we can get. We're still looking for another uh, danger card. If we can possibly grab one of those, that would be awesome. Aside from that, uh, we could also get a, another Nibiru. We could get a Dark Ruler No More. Um, we could also have some of the other uh, cards that we could also, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, Nibiru and Dark Ruler No More were kind of the other cards that we would need. So actual cards in here this time, nothing's been previously opened. Um, this is empty, so we're not really gonna use this anymore. So I'm gonna just close that up. All of the all of the other extra cards that we use, of course, are going to go into the, uh, or rather the cards that we don't use, are either going into the binder, or they're gonna go into, or they're gonna go into the, uh, the giveaway tins, depending on what type of card they are. I think all of these cards here, because I already have most of these in the, uh, since I have most of these in the tins, I think these cards, some of these cards are gonna go into the binder. So let's figure out what's in here first. If we can get that other Nibiru, then that'll finish off some of our side deck stuff. If we can get the Raigeki as well, that'll be a main deck card that we can add since we don't run Lightning Storm, but we haven't pulled Lightning Storm yet. But let's look at what we have so far. Exodia, the Legendary Defender, followed by Neo Kaiser Glider, followed by Dark Ruler No More, followed by Prismatic uh, Monster Reborn, and Obelisk the Tormentor. So that actually finishes off all of the God cards that we had. Uh, we didn't really need another set, so I'll put the God cards, well this is, since the other two are already in the tin, that's going to go into the tin. This Prismatic Monster Reborn is going to go into the, uh, the binder. Dark Ruler No More. We might be able to use, um, let's see. The opponent takes no damage, and neither player can activate monster effects. I think we'll we'll hold on to this. That might go into the side deck. And then Exodia and Neo Kaiser Glider are gonna also go into the tin. So those, so binder, tin, just so that way you guys are seeing. Seeing bind oh binder, tin, and then Dark Ruler No More is gonna go into the side deck. So I'll move these cards over to the side here. If we could pull like a Boral Sword Dragon, or if we could get uh, some other danger cards, that would be that would be clutch. So all of the common cards, of course, are going into the other box. We have Link Streamer, Trickstar Bouquet, Cybernetic Overflow, FA Winners, World Legacy Nightmare, Watch Cat, Mirror Force Launcher, Crossbreed, uh, Sky Striker Mecha, Widow Anchor, Necro Valley Temple, this is actually a really good card for Gravekeepers, Bear Blocker, Dino Wrestler King T Wrestle, Gravekeeper Spiritual is another really good card, Cyanet Fusion, and Thunder Dragon 100 Thunders. So, we have another Scissors Cross. It's gonna be like, oh no, sorry, this is another Widow Anchor. It's an Ultra Widow Anchor. Now, Cross Breed, um, this is gonna go into, let's see, what does this say? Banish two monsters from your hand and or face up on the field with the same original type and attribute but different names and add one monster with the same original type and attribute as those monsters but different name from your deck to the hand. Mm -hmm. I think we'll put this in the binder as well. We're kind of low on spells. So this is going to go into the tin and then all of these are going to go into the common box. So I would say hold on to this if you're thinking about making grave keepers. So just to reiterate, binder binder, right, so we have the four binder cards, oh, never mind, I missed a card, it was a danger response team, I totally missed that, put that over there, take this, 
and add this to the super uh, tin. So that's actually going to go with the rest of these. All right, cross speed widow anchor. Did I need more spells? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm bugging out. Monster reborn, cross speed, and widow anchor. Danger response team. These are going to go all into the the other tin because I know there's a widow anchor already in the binder. So I don't want to add too many. I want to make it fair for folks. I'm going to take like the top four because I think that those cards are common. And we'll look at these. So, Predoplast, Salaman Great Emerald Eagle, Recon Scout for Hire, Salaman Great Falco, Cluster Congestor. Was that the same as the first? No, I was bugging out. I thought that that was the same as the first card. It kind of looks like it. Trickstar Light Arena, Super Team Buddy Force Unite. Look at that. If it isn't super, if it isn't the buddy force, <laughs> basically. I wonder if we'll be able to duel Dylan sometime in the near future. That would be pretty cool. Crystal Master. Dealer's Choice. Backup Operator. Some Summer Summoner. Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburner. Nightmare Cerberus. This is going into the deck. And another Danger Mothman. Agave Dragon and Will of the Salamangri will finish it off. So that's going there. Nightmare Cerberus is actually going to go into... Uh, we needed some more Link Monsters. This is going to go into our actual uh, side deck. Danger Mothman. Um, we don't need two of these. So he's going to go into the binder. So we'll put that there. We'll put that there. I think the rest of the binder cards are here. No, these, are, these three cards we're not holding on to. Those are going in there. There we go. And all of the other common cards. Well, let's see. Uh, Afterburner is going to go into the binder. Some Summer Summoner is going to go into the tin. The rest of these cards, Super Team Buddy Force Unite. And the rest of these cards are going into the common box. So you see over here, if you guys can see where my finger is pointing, I have these cards here. I'll wait for the camera to focus. These cards here, which are going into the, uh, into the side deck or extra deck. There's a stack here that's going into the tin. These cards here are all going into the binder, and then the common cards are going into the box. So let's move this over. We have one last mega pack. Let's open this up and think that we get something good. I'm gonna take the top four cards, move them up, or rather the back four. So one, two, three, four. Move them over here. I think I might be able to actually take five. Move them over there. Yeah, there's no, there's no lettering on that one. And yeah, let's see. Two for one team. Giant Ballpark, which I heard is another good card. Eternal Galaxy. Thunder Dragon, Dragon Matrix. Anybody still making Thunder Dragons? Vampire's Domain. Trickstar Mandrake. Dragoonity Legion. Goki Bear Hug. Heartless Drop Off. Dragoonity Kos. Rakuz. Another firefighting Daruma doll. We don't need two of these, so but it's good to maybe have another one. Fulgo Justice for Hire as our super rare. World Legacy. World Crown. Sky Oh my gosh. Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. Good lord. And Mana Dragon Zir Nitron. I've never seen this card. Let's read what he says. This is the first time I've actually seen this card. If a spell or trap card you control leaves the field because of an opponent's effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, sorry, from your graveyard. If it was there when the spell or trap card... Wait, when that spell and trap card left. Or hand, even if not. Then you can set one spell or trap card that is banished or in your graveyard to your spell and trap card zone. Uh, you can only use the effect of Mana Dragon once per turn. If this card is summoned this way, banish it when it leaves the field. This is an interesting, interesting card here. And Crusadia Saptha. Huh, interesting. Alright, so, let's see. This is going to go into the binder. This card looks really cool. It's going to go into the binder here. Uh, the Fur Hire card is going into the other tin. Mobilize, engage. <laughs> you never know, it might come back, so that's going in the binder. Uh, World Legacy, World Crown. Uh, we have too many monsters, so that's going to go in the tin. Crusadia Saptha, as well as all of these other cards here. All the other commons. Let's see, common, 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 common
ballpark and we'll put Daruma doll up at the front so he's going into that and then the rest of these cards are going into the other tin so that's going to do it for the uh, gold sark tin opening i hope you guys enjoy uh, this part of it and as we transition like i mentioned before because we're not able to really go outside to public settings and duel we're going to be continuing on with the giveaway stream and that's going to be what's coming up next so stay tuned and now a word from our sponsors attention duelist do you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you like cards? Do you like free cards? Well, listen up. The Mr. Beast of Yu-Gi-Oh, official man with a handsome voice, the artist with a fro, is giving away a gold sark tin of which the likes the dueling community has never seen before. A full gold sark tin with supers, rares, ultras, and all of the hollows he's gathered will be up for a free giveaway to one lucky winner. The giveaway will be live from now until May 1st when Eternity Code drops, so please make sure you take the time to enter and tell all of your duelist friends. The rules are simple. Just click the giveaway link and head over to Gleam to enter. As if that weren't enough, he's also giving away cards every time he streams on Twitch and YouTube. We've given away about 11 cards so far, all ranging in various prices, like the highly valuable Ignister Island and the new Plunder Patrol cards. Good luck to all the duelists out there, and as usual, he's been the artist with a fro, and that, my friends, is the stuff you should know. All right, and we're back with another sort of like simulated duel here. I kind of had to update the speed of the video just to make sure that we were able to sort of cram in all three of the duels that we have here. But in the three duels that we are featuring, I am facing off against heroes, uh, rockets, and I believe Shadals. So we're kind of going to test and see how well the deck runs against those three type of archetypes and how well our deck can manage in its current state against uh, a type of format like that. Now, the version of the deck that I am using is kind of a, a mixture of a pseudo-completed version where we do have Pot of Extravagance, but it's not really like it's going to matter because we're facing off against heroes in the first duel, and immediately Bonto has uh, Elemental Hero, or rather Masked Hero, Dark Law out on the field. So, it's going to prevent me from searching, it's going to prevent me from getting the cards that I need. Keep in mind, this is before I ended up siding in the super poly so we're not really going to get any help at all with this type of deck um, thanks to dark law he's just going to end up banishing so all of my stuff and then once it's removed that's pretty much it however i am able to get rid of dark law with the with the added effects of uh lu shuan and sun mo so we're going to try to see how well we can do with those two and then see how far we can go in However, the minute that we do some damage, Increase then gets on the field. He's able to summon another set of heroes as well as Malicious. Now that Malicious is at 3, um, although it's at 2 in the OCG, now that it's at 3, he's just able to kind of just special summon off like crazy. Gets Liquid Soldier out, brings back Shadow Mist, summons uh, the X-Cross, X-Hero, Extra Hero Cross Guy or whatever it's called. Um, and then he's able to go for Sunriser, then he gets the Miracle Fusion off, it's just like, yeah, we're not, <laughs> we're definitely not going to win this type of duel. Um, and keep in mind, we really haven't even put a dent in his life points, for that matter. But he goes again for the Mass Change, and he ends up summoning Acid, and Acid ends up just getting rid of all of the cards that we have, so we really have no form of defense. And uh, that's going to be our first loss for the round. Now, this is a two-round game, and as you guys can see, Sort of for the quick moment, um, I am running cards that I don't necessarily have. So this again was sort of a pseudo version of the deck in its completed state. One thing I do notice, however, is that while we might not be able to afford Pot of Extravagance, the deck where it's at right now with the Mind Control and the Super Poly side ends have actually been a turn for the better. And it's actually given me an insight in regards to other ways I can play the deck. And I think that that's probably the biggest thing that we need to figure out as we continue on with this journey. There are going to be multiples of cards that we're just not going to be able to get just due to like the rarity of them or the price and sort of like the continuation of how many pulls I'm able to get out of the packs. You guys will all see that in the next, uh, rather in the next few upcoming videos when we do go into another box of Ignition Assault. Um, we're not really getting that really good pulls. So we're going to have to try to find alternatives 
to make sure that we can overcome those sort of slight uh, setbacks per se. Now all of this is still in preparation for us to uh, prepare for Eternity Code and I'm not even commentating on the duel at this moment because it's just like alright we're able to pull off a few combos but until Eternity Code comes out we're not going to be able to really get the full power of the Ancient Warriors that we want. And it's interesting though because we're seeing that other people are getting kind of along in their decks in the sealed only journey and it's kind of making me very uh for lack of a better term envious of uh of them for uh for the fact that their decks are kind of pushing beyond the level that they've been able to push and we're just like we're kind of just cruising right now so the second dual devastator that we got definitely helped out now having two ash blossoms two mind controls two super polys all of that stuff is very very beneficial pulling the nightmare cerberus um, although it's not sided into this duel it's still something that we can use and yeah that's gonna be one of those things that we're just really gonna have to keep in mind as we continue on um, however again we do lose this duel so Bonto I believe I don't know if this was before or after um, but this might have been before we decided to give away our card however I think he was an international duelist so we weren't able to send him anything now moving on to our next duel against Pike and Pike 1004 is a regular uh, viewer of ours on the Twitch uh, sort of streams as well as Sour Apple 120 who will have a duel coming right after this. But Pike is running a very meta relevant uh, meta relevant deck with the rockets. Now with his rocket cards, he's able to kind of just get off a lot of the combos that he's able to do. And I know that some other people are playing cards that are similar to this or decks that are similar to this. Uh, case in point, Rev's cards I believe has a rocket deck that he's doing and there might be a few other people that are doing Rocket Revolt as well. Um, so it's one of those things that we're just gonna have to keep in mind because this deck is still commonly played and once Master Rule 5 comes around and they're just able to just link climb as ridiculously as as possible they're just gonna really pop off so we need to make sure that we have any type of contingency So I decide to send Shun, uh, Sun. Blah. I decide to send uh, the other Sun Mo to the grave, and I'm reading Tiger King's effect at this point. And this is kind of like where it almost dawns on me that Tiger King does not target cards, so I can activate his effect and just negate all of the effects of uh, Pike's cards 
but I'm still not, I don't think I've realized it yet. And it's kind of like infuriating watching this back and just being like, bro, there were multiple times where I, if I had just summoned uh, Tiger King, I could have won the duel immediately. So he ends up getting his Star Leech, a $40 card, and Levianir Dragon back on the field, which is a card that we can hopefully pull in our duel overload opening, um, which should be coming out sometime soon. We're still waiting on the shipment of that package. Right now, I'm kind of looking at the binder, just trying to decide what free card we're going to give away, because, you know, we always give away free cards here on the Twitch channel. But I think that this is the moment where we realize, okay, let's actually do something. So we look at our cards. I'm, I'm thinking, and I think to look into my extra deck, or rather, I activate Lu Xuan's effect first, thus sending um, my Danger uh, Bigfoot to the graveyard, and then I summon Zhang Yuan. Now, I'm going to then send a card back to his hand. However, before I do that, I activate uh, Zhang Dei's effect to make him attack. Now, I'm still looking, and I think that this is the moment where we realize, and <laughs> I'm going to see it on my face. I'm like, wait a sec. If I summon Tiger King and use his effect... I can be able to like send something to the grave. I activate Sun Mo and then I just negate everything. So I'm kind of just losing my mind at this moment because now I can I can really just overthrow any type of like playstyle he'll have. So I summon another Zhang Dei. The first Zhang Dei that I summoned is able to attack twice. So it's gonna just kind of like tear into him. And this is keep in mind, this is when we have a hundred life points left. So we're able to take the win. We end up getting rid of all of his cards, and that is how we sort of solidify Tiger King's place in the extra deck. Now, for the last duel that we have here, we're going to be facing off against Sour Apple, aka Inferior Owl. He is another one of the sort of core viewers that we have here on the Twitch channel, always giving an input. He's actually won, I believe, three cards, uh, one of them most recently being Cross Sheep. So uh, if you guys ever want any free cards, like I said before, there are multiple chances to get them, not only in the giveaway, which aired before, but also in joining the Twitch channel, or rather just viewing me on Twitch or on YouTube, whenever we have our giveaway duels, if you beat me in a duel, you get a free card. So that's kind of like the gist of it. However, we're here facing off against Shadal Invoked. Um, he's able to get Invocation off. He summons, uh, I believe, Invoked Kaluga, and he has uh, Shadal... Uh, rather the new El Shadal construct the alternate art card So we're kind of just looking at this like well We really can't do anything and this is another sort of reason why the kaijus are Run secondary to the deck because of cards like Appaloosa and Kaluga. It's like not getting that second effect off and only getting to activate one It's like this is a really good effect lockdown. So we're not really able to pull off much um, Just looking at what he has so I'm gonna get rid of three visits I can't activate any other cards. Um, I'm gonna have to try to run over his monsters, but we do a we are able to sort of run over Appaloosa. So we're able to get that sort of off just with him activating and negating effects. He then goes for El Shadal Fusion, so he's gonna be able to pop off something. He gets another construct, I believe. And from there, he's going to, I think, special summon a card from his graveyard. But um, he decides to put Kalyuga in defense. We're going to activate Changban to the grave, which will then uh, prevent any of our ancient warriors from getting attacked. And I think we're just going to go into this with the rest of our attacks and just take the win. Now, there are multiple duels that we will be showcasing. There are other few episodes that we will have coming out. There's also other types of content on the channel as well. So if it is your fancy, please make sure you check any of the other videos that we do have on the channel. Thank you guys again for watching. And I've been the artist with the fro. And that, my friends, is the show. Take care.